Hey now, it's Steve Stevens from Bionic Buzz. We're at the world premiere of Wishman. Yes, the story of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the very first one, and how the foundation got founded. It's going to be amazing red carpet. Let's go see who we can talk to. So, Frank, we've been talking about this movie for so long. How's it feel to today, finally, the world premiere here? It's just, it's surreal. It's wild. I mean, it's a six-year journey, and wow. here we are now. Great production team, the screenwriter, Theo Davies, the director, cast, crew, everybody made this happen. And wow, here we are. I know, and what do you want everyone to take away from seeing this film? The, the storyline of this, everyone can be a hero. How to give back to your community, how to help someone when they need help. And that's a big message right there. I hope it inspires other people to do that. Thank you very much. So I have to say, how's it feel finally? I've been talking about this movie at like every City Summit, City Gal event for years now. Now here we are, the world premiere. Yeah, it's an absolute dream, my friend. Um, yeah, it's incredible. You know, I've we've been talking I've been talking about it for three years, but it had been three years before that. You know, yeah. it's a lot of buzz, it's a beautiful, beautiful story that we're telling. A lot of people have put a lot of hard work and they've done an incredible work. And uh, you know, we're so uh, we're so excited to be here at the Egyptian. What did Frank give you advice about playing him in the movie? I know, right? I mean, Frank's a man of a few words, know, but right? really, you know, I read his book and I got an idea. He, he never really gave me advice of how to do it. I guess he gave me freedom to do what I wanted, but, it, you know, like, it was, it was pretty fantastic about, um, you know, his generosity and, you know, letting me know what he thought. Cool. Well, let's go. Anything coming up you want to talk about or promote? Uh, go to flicksforchange.org, submit a short film, uh, and, uh, yeah, hope to see you there. Christian, we've been talking about this movie forever, it seems like. How does it feel to finally be here at the premiere? Well, it's super exciting. It's finally coming out. I've been waiting forever, it feels like now. And now that it's coming out, well, you have to watch it. Yeah, what do you want people to take away from this movie? Uh, definitely support. Support the people that you love and make sure that everyone's always loved and that you can support people with cancer and do every whatever you can to make the world a better place. Uh, no, I never got to meet Frank until actually I was on set and actually doing the role. So um, yeah, it was actually a, a, I got to actually meet him uh, for lunch when we broke. So it was a good experience. So how's it feel? I mean, you've been in the, you, inter, uh, you shot this what a couple years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, did Frank actually give you any advice? Did you meet him ahead of time on set? Um, well, I, I when I showed up to set on the first day, he goes, "That looks just like me, just a little uh, more handsome." So <laughs> that that was pretty cool. When did you film this movie? It was like a couple years ago. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking about this movie forever. Yes, I, yeah, well, they've been promoting it, and I promote it as just to help them, you know. Uh, but about a year ago, I guess. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So, who, what character did you play? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I played the small role, cameo role, and they asked me to do it with Robert Pine, who was my co-star on Chips. Yeah. So, we had a great time. You know, I'm over. Hollywood doesn't impress me. I just like, you know, it's a job, and you like to be good to people and have a good time and put your signature on your work. You we had a good time. I didn't get a ride to motorcycle, darn it. I was a cowboy in the movie, yeah. But I still ride motorcycles, and I'm about ready to do a television series about motorcycles, but I can't tell you any more than that. Okay, look forward to that. Death Wish to Wish Man. Any other Wish movies coming up here, sorry? I mean, they could not be more different at all. But it's funny because the last time I was Googling Wish Man, Death Wish came up. I'm like, I cannot keep, I can't keep doing movies with the word Wish in it. I'm just kidding. If you have a movie with Wish in it, hire me. I'm just kidding. So who do you play? I play Kitty. Yeah, I play Kitty. Um, it's actually Frank's soon-to-be wife. I don't think in our film they actually get married, but at the end, they, I mean, in real life they are married. So she's, you know, the love of his life and helped him come up with the idea for the foundation. Oh yeah, she's on set. Yeah, absolutely. She was. There's a lot of pressure playing a real person. So. All right, we'll see you in more wish movies, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to be hired. She's a nurse that uh, comes into Frank's life at a very important time and a very important turning point, and turns that point in his life. Very cool. Yes. Is this the first time playing like a real person in a movie? Oh, that's actually a very good question. Um, I've done many movies. I can't remember doing it. No. Was it different? Not that I can think of. You know, I didn't 
get to meet Sally. Sally was a figure that came into his life very briefly. He didn't exchange contact information with her. He doesn't, so I wasn't able to actually meet her. So she really just became, to be honest, I, I didn't put it, I'm a character actor usually, and I didn't put a character on Sally. I just kind of played her as me with, with a cute little American accent. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, it just felt really natural to go in and like, be that healer rescue person so Very nice. yeah maybe anything, another life <laughs> anything coming up for you you're allowed to talk about a promote yeah i'm not allowed to talk about the name of it but i just did a pilot with disney abc uh and uh we are waiting to find out if we get picked up we missed out on the upfront so uh, intentionally but yeah we're looking for a mid-season pickup and uh it's a phenomenal project. I play the Queen of the Vikings. It's the coolest thing ever. Right. And uh, I cannot wait till I can talk about it properly. All right. Well, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Talk about producing this movie. It's been a long journey. I've been hearing about this for like years. I've been hearing about it for years. I'm so excited to be the lady that introduced Frank Shankwitz to Greg Reed. So that, yeah, so that happened about that. Yes, yes, yes. It happened about nine years ago, I think. So I'm really particularly proud of that moment. I'm associated on this movie. And I also play Frank's stepmother who happens to be the good mom um, so Frank has a very special place in his heart for her, which for me means everything in the world because I adore Frank uh, and um, yeah I'm just throwing I me mean, look at the culmination after all these years and I know the difficulties behind this you know this movie as well so to see it happen it just means the world what do you want hopefully people take away from seeing this movie? Oh, you know, it's, uh, you, you know, just to be giving, be, have a giving heart. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. You don't have to create a make-a-wish. You know, you just have to do, just be kind. Uh, like Ellen says, be kind to one another. Just, just do the right thing. Uh, get over yourself. Don't make it always about you. You know, do some. Do here's the deal. Do something good for somebody else and forget it. Just forget it because it's gonna come back. You know, some people were well, well, if you give me this and I'll get. Don't do that. Just give, 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 and uh, and let it go. Let it go. Anything coming up for you after this? Well, I'll talk about oh, yeah. Now. I've got the multimedia platform for women. We've got the online uh, live and streaming media. I've got podcasts. I've got digital magazines. So in the limelight media. Again, for women, I've got my beauty products, my lifestyle products. Where can Clarissa Burt. Today is there websites or city lines? You can go to, yeah, ClarissaBurt.com. B U R T. Yeah, ClarissaBurt.com. You'll find it all there. All right. Congratulations. Thank you so much been hearing about this movie for so long, going to City Summit, City of Gala events, oh, yeah. and you've been a big part of putting this movie together. How does it feel to finally have the world premiere here? It's like birth and a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a six year uh, you know, hiatus and all of a sudden it comes together. It's going to be an overnight success. But this movie has the ability to literally impact the lives of millions of people around the globe. So what do you want people to take away from seeing this movie? Everyone can be a hero. Everyone can do one simple act of kindness that have a ripple effect. You can uh, give a homeless person a pair of socks or stop a bully from fighting. Everyone can do something to leave the world a little bit better. Are they coming up? I know you do a lot of tour speeches. Oh yeah, we got books, we got product, but the main thing tonight is Wish Man. It's a privilege to be here. I got Jesse along beside me, so things are going pretty good. Have you seen the movie yet? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. I can't wait to see it inside. I've been clips for so long. Yeah, you'll laugh, you'll cry. Bring some Kleenex. You'll have a good time. Right, right, Thanks well, for having me. Quick right here. <laughs> what was it like being on set with Frank actually there watching your performance? You know? it, he was, he's a very gentle, giving man. And you wouldn't expect it being a tough guy coming off of a motorcycle. Yeah, riding, exactly. Riding down the highway saying, you're going a little fast, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> but he's uh, one of the most generous people I know, and what he's created and what he's done has been amazing. It's really been amazing. Last question. The, la the X-Men movie is about to come out. You helped start that big franchise that's ending now. Your amazing performance, Senator Kelly. What's it like looking back on that? Well, I'm glad I got in at the beginning. Yeah. Because they've blown up a lot of stuff since. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Talk about being in this wonderful movie. It was a lot um, well, it was a real honor to be there. I'm uh, portraying uh, Frank Shankwitz, who um, is the founder and creator of uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And whenever you can um, jump in those shoes, it's, it's an honor and a privilege. And, uh, and he's just a wonderful guy. I mean, a very regular, real person. 
Last question. I'm a big fan of your voiceover work. You got to be in Star Wars Old Republic. Now they're actually developing that as a movie, so are you oh, going to throw your hat in there want to be in a Star Wars movie? Well, of course I do. I didn't know they were doing that, yeah. but uh, they haven't called me yet, but uh, of course I'd I'll be, be happy going to for do that. it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Take care.